Hey guys, it's Sophie and welcome back to my channel. So a couple weeks ago, I did a video all about my favourite cetacean facts and I thought, well, because I love sharks, why not do one about them as well? So then, today I'm going to be talking about some of my favourite shark facts that you guys may not know about. So for my first facts about sharks, I want to talk about tonic immobility, which is a reflex that causes inactivity in an animal. Now many species of sharks and rays can temporarily go into this trance-like state, but they can also be induced into tonic immobility by stimulating the tiny sensory pores located on their snout. Researchers use this state of hypnosis to subdue the animals that they are working with, whether in captivity, in the wild, or in laboratories. It makes it so much safer to handle them and gather the research that they need without causing injury to either themselves or the animals. When researchers try and put sharks into tonic immobility, they will gently roll the sharks onto their back. This is thought to disorientate them and put them into the state. Their breathing becomes more slowed and rhythmic, and their muscles relax, which makes working on them so much easier. Once the research is done, the sharks are then rolled back over and they snap back into reality very quickly. So, fact number two is all about ageing sharks. Now you may be thinking, how on earth do you age a shark? Well, here's how the pros do it. So scientists can age sharks by counting the rings that are on their vertebra. The vertebra contain concentric pairs of translucent and opaque bands. Band pairs are then counted like the rings on a tree and scientists can then work out the age of the shark based on the band count. So if the vertebra has 10 band pairs, that means that the shark is an estimated 10 years old. However, this isn't always an accurate way to determine the age of a shark because depending on the size or the species of that shark, the band pairs can be deposited into the vertebra at different times and stages. So my third fact about sharks is all about bottom dwelling sharks such as angel sharks and nurse sharks. Now these species of sharks are unique because they have spiracles that allow them to pull water into their respiratory system while they're at rest. Most sharks have to keep swimming in order to pump water over their gills. Located just behind the eyes of the shark, these spiracles supply oxygen to the eyes and the brain. This incredible adaptation allows sharks to rest on the seafloor instead of constantly needing to keep swimming in order to breathe. These spiracles are also used for respiration when the shark's mouth is being used for eating. Now, if you were to ask me what my favourite shark species is, I really couldn't tell you. I love thrushes, makos, great whites, tigers, you name it, I love it. And my passion for sharks has just grown and grown over the years, the more that I've learnt about them. But for fact number four, I kind of wanted to do a shout out to one of my favourite species of shark, which is the hammerhead shark, because they just are so fascinating and phenomenal creatures. Now you guys may already know that sharks have a sixth sense, known as the ampullae of Lorenzini, which are the tiny little pores located all around the shark's face that pick up on the small electrical impulses generated by other animals. But hammerheads take it to a new level. So hammerheads have that funny looking head shape for a reason, and that's because it contains a whopping 3,000 ampullae pores used to detect the electrical field generated by its prey, which is usually stingrays. Now stingrays spend a lot of time hiding under the sand, so by having this many ampullae pores, it means that hammerheads can home in on their prey with such accuracy almost every single time. The peculiar head shape of these sharks means that they have incredible eyesight. With 360 degree vision and their eyes tilted slightly forward, it allows their field of vision to significantly overlap. They just are incredible apex predators that are so beautifully adapted and designed to living in their ocean environment. Now my last fact, fact number five, is about a species of shark which has kind of defied the laws of physics in the shark world by having a unique adaptation that allows them to live in both fresh and salt water. The average shark must retain salt in its body in order to survive. If it doesn't, the cells within the shark will rupture, causing bloating and subsequent death. Now both freshwater and saltwater fish are able to live in their watery environments due to a process called osmoregulation. Osmoregulation happens when an animal is able to maintain a constant concentration of water within its body. So despite being in an environment which can cause an animal to lose or gain water, these animals are able to maintain a constant concentration. Now bull sharks have found a way to beat this system and have a special way of osmoregulating. Their kidneys have found a way to recycle the salt water within their bodies. They also have special glands near their tail which aid in salt retention. 
Both of these adaptations allows bull sharks to live in a wide range of water salinity. So you'll usually find that the juvenile bull sharks and the pups will live in more freshwater areas because it provides more protection while they're growing up. But as they become adults, they'll move to more saltwater environments. Honestly, that was just a couple of my favourite shark facts, but I could go on for hours and tell you so much more about these incredible creatures. So I hope you guys learnt something new today about sharks and enjoyed this video. But if you did, could you please like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram for more animal related content such as this. But for now guys, I hope you're all staying safe, take care and I'll see you soon.